welcome the morning prayer and worship. This is the third Wednesday in the season of Easter in the church calendar, marking time with God's story. If you have a prayer request, you can always go to benwardmusic.com slash prayer request. We'd love to pray for you. There will be no podcast the next two days, Thursday and Friday. I'll be out of town with my family. But there are over 600 episodes of this podcast. And I will put in the description and in our Facebook group a couple of my favorites that you can go back and listen to. We'll see you again on Monday to pray, to worship together, and to be in the presence of the Lord together. We're dry inside these walls of pride Without you we're empty Thirsty from our vain pursuits, we long to drink of you. The weight of our sin presses down upon us, driving us to our knees. We call out to you, our God, Redeemer. Blessed is he who brings us peace. Stand up among us, make your presence known. Rise up within us, set your people free in your presence. Is where we need to be. Fatherless be a father, Lord. Show your compassion to the prisoner and the captive. Bring your release to those who cry out for your healing that always seems out of reach. Holy Spirit, come in power, ignite our passion to believe. Stand up among us, make your presence known, rise up within. Set your people free in your presence is where we want to be. Thank you, Lord, for this day. Thank you, Lord, for waking us up. This is the day that you have made. We rejoice and are glad in it. We are glad to be here today. We are glad to be awake. be in your presence, fixing our eyes on you, the very author of our faith. As the Psalms say, you yourself have taught us, Lord. Even in the night season, Psalm 16, you have instructed our hearts, God. Remind us of that this morning as we are together, praying, listening, singing, worshiping, sitting.
Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways. To the glory of your name. Amen. The Lord is gracious and full of compassion, slow to anger, rich in love. That's what we need more of. Stand up among us. Make your presence known Rise up within us Set your people free In your presence Where we're going to be Psalm 38 O Lord, do not rebuke me in your anger Do not punish me in your wrath For your arrows have already pierced me And your hand presses hard upon me There is no health in my flesh Because of your indignation There is no soundness in my body Because of my sin For my iniquities overwhelm me like a heavy burden, they are too much for me to bear. My wounds stink and fester by reason of my foolishness. I'm utterly bowed down and prostrate. I go about in mourning all day long. My loins are filled with searing pain. There is no health in my body. I am utterly numb and crushed I wail because of the groaning of my heart. O oh Lord, you know all my desires, and my sighing is not hidden from you. My heart is pounding, my strength has failed me, and the brightness of my eyes is gone from me. My friends and companions draw back from my affliction. My neighbors stand afar off. Those who seek after my life lay snares for me. Those who strive to hurt me speak of my ruin and plot treachery all the day long. But I am like the deaf who do not hear, like those who are mute and do not open their mouth. I have become like one who does not hear and from whose mouth comes no defense. For in you, O Lord, have I fixed my hope. You will answer me, O Lord my God. For I said, do not let them rejoice at my expense. Those who gloat over me when my foot slips. Truly, I am on the verge of falling and my pain is always with me. I will confess my iniquity and be sorry for my sin. Those who are my enemies without cause are mighty, and many in number are those who wrongfully hate me. Those who repay evil for good slander me, because I follow the course that is right. O oh Lord, do not forsake me. Be not far from me, O oh my God. Make haste to help me, O oh Lord of my salvation. Be not far away, be not far away, Lord, be not far away, God. And you have 
have I fixed my hope in you? Have I fixed my hope? Be not far away. Be not far away. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning is now and will be forever Amen Amen. Our gospel reading this third Wednesday in the season of Easter in the church calendar, Matthew 3, 13 through 17. Jesus came from Galilee to John at the Jordan to be baptized by him. John would have prevented him, saying, I need to be baptized by you, and do you come to me? But Jesus answered to him, Let it be so now, for it is proper for us in this way to fulfill all righteousness. Then he consented. And when Jesus had been baptized, just as he came up from the water, suddenly the heavens were opened to him, and he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove and alighting on him. And a voice from heaven said, This is my Son, the Beloved, with whom I am well pleased. This is my beloved. Oh, I am pleased with him. Oh, this is my beloved. Oh, I'm so pleased with him. Oh, I am your beloved You are pleased with me We are your beloved Lord Oh, yes The word of the Lord Thanks be to God Thanks be to God I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Our collect of the day, the prayer we pray together collectively. This third Wednesday in the season of Easter in the church calendar. O God, whose blessed Son made himself known to his disciples on the breaking of bread, open the eyes of our faith that we may behold him in all his redeeming work. 
who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Open the eyes, open the eyes of our faith, Lord, that we may see all that you are doing, all how you're moving. Open the eyes, open the eyes of our faith. Open the eyes, open the eyes of our faith. Can lead us in a time of guided prayer. I'll give prompts and continue to play. Pray specifically in my name for those in your life today. Let's begin with our own hearts, our joys, thanksgivings, trials, worries, fears, frustrations, hurts, whatever it is, tell Jesus. Jesus will help you, Jesus alone. tell Jesus Jesus will help me Jesus alone pray for our families now our extended families our immediate family whatever that means in your life today those who have become like family tell Jesus all of my trials I must tell Jesus all my fears Jesus will help me Jesus will help me alone friends acquaintances co-workers fellow students whoever the Lord lays on your heart now tell Jesus Jesus will help me Jesus alone I must tell Jesus Jesus will help me Jesus alone and pray for your enemies bless those who curse you and see the glory of God in your obedience in their life in your life in the circumstance I must tell Jesus, Jesus will help me, Jesus alone. 
now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen and amen. Go in the peace and the power and the presence of the Holy Spirit. Tell Jesus, Jesus will help you. No one can help you like Jesus can. Amen. Remember to listen to the two hand-picked previous episodes of Morning Prayer and Worship that I will put in the description and in our Facebook group, benwardmusic.com slash Facebook. And let's pray together again on Monday. Morning Prayer and Worship is a production of Steady Stream Ministries. Benwardmusic.com slash donate. Would you consider becoming a monthly supporter to help us further the work that the Holy Spirit is doing? Amen.